Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with the Ferrara Box! And that's not one, but two Ferrara Boxes! Yes, yeah, so if you've been with our channel a while, we've done Ferrara Boxes tons of times. We will link the playlist down below. But they happen to do Disney themes quite a bit and February's theme was Disney. So Ferrara box is a mystery box which Fun which Funkos, which features <laughs> Funko Pop related products. They've been getting into like fig pins and lounge fly things too. But um, the one time box, which is what we did, is twenty five dollars, and then shipping's like five to nine dollars but they always randomly have like a discount when you do it so it usually always comes to thirty dollars with shipping and you could do their like monthly but you won't know what the theme is month to month and that's i think like twenty one dollars or something but we like to see the theme because we don't want like stuff we don't collect so I'm excited. I'm hope I have high hopes for this. So I'm hoping there's like Encanto maybe, maybe some 50th things. I mean, yeah, there's so many possibilities mm -hmm. of things that they could do. Yeah. I don't know. So we're hoping these, you know, boxes are different cuz every box is different. They don't just do the same box, which is why we ordered two. And so is it going to be like a Ferrara box battle? Maybe, if they're good. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, um, and then they changed their boxes to blue. They used to be white. But they don't usually put things on top, like, to s so you kind of have to just blindly pull Okay, there's like never a spoiler sheet or no. like a any card. It's just stuff in a box. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll just go first. So we'll link stuff for, for our box down below. We are not sponsored, we buy this ourselves. I should not lock it down. Right. These boxes are so tight where it's like, you have to kind of... Oh. Oh my god. It's stuffed. I see a Funko! Oh! How oh, cute! We oh, we don't have this! Know. We were kind of waiting on this, like, I don't know. Monsters at Work wasn't the best. We like, we were into it at first and then it just kind of got bad. Like, I, I bad's, a, bad's a, I would say bad is a stretch. I think I it mean, was fine. It was cute. It just, I don't know. You ever have those TV shows that like you super love, but then it's like, kind of like Vanderpump Rules. Like it, got kind of like bad this season but like you still want to watch it and you still enjoy it so yeah that's how i feel about this like it just got really predictable yeah so we don't have this which is great so this is tyler tusk wait taylor tyler it's not taylor it's tyler oh tyler and ferrara box yes ferrara box you used to put pop protectors on this <gasps> why are you not doing that anymore so there's him there's two that you could get. I actually would have preferred Val over. Uh, yeah, ditto. But maybe you'll get her. <gasps> oh, that would be cute! So this is him. I like his hair. It looks really cute. And we love some Jonah, the actor that plays him. Also was in Drop Dead Diva. Comment down below if you've watched that. So this is cute. This will go on our monster shelf. Dropped it and Superstore. Like, I comment below if you really did watch uh, Dropped Dead Diva because that opening used to bring me so much life. It was only specifically the part where she goes, my guardian angel friend, my best friend Stacy, and I guess now, you! See that aspiring model there? That was me, Deb, until the day I died. But there was a bit of a mix-up, and I woke up in someone else's body. <laughs> and the only people who really know what's going on with me are my girlfriend, Stacy, <laughs> and my guardian angel, Fred. I you see that inspired model over there? That's me, Deb. Well, at least it was until the day I died. <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't there another guardian angel? Like, not, like, in the yeah, second season? like, the fourth season. Yeah. They, like, changed. And now my best friend's... And then it got bad. We stopped watching. <laughs> 
<laughs> and my guardian angel, you guys. All right. <laughs> Don't look. So bad. I just looked at the first pop, and I also got a a Jonah. Are you kidding? You even get Val. What? Ferrara box. I'm kind of mad about that. Okay, literally, like, they know because we were two at the same address that it's going to be the same. What? Why couldn't we just get Val? Yeah, like, if you got this one, I'm sure you had Val. That's lazy of them. Also, you know, what's interesting is, like, you know how, like, the monsters have, like, normally fur? Like, this just looks like a body. Like, there's no texture on it. No. Ugh. So, we actually are having a live sale on our, well, my Instagram. So, be sure to follow at the Tez on the 26th of February at 8 p.m. Eastern. So we're gonna have a bunch of Funko Pops for sale, pins, tons of stuff. So, so much be fun sure. Stuff. So this will be in there. That's, Tyler. That's just, you wanna go again then? Yeah, alright, I see another Funko. Okay, I mean we already have this Funko. We've got this from Ferrara Box before too. Here, I'll keep this in the box. I'll show you the one that's out of the box. Oh over my here. god, they're just trying to like get rid of their inventory. It seems like. Is this the chase? No. Okay. So this is this is the blue fairy. She's pretty. She's a fairy. She goes with our fairies. Look at all that. Um, but we do have her, and she is one of like a stunning pop because of like the iridescent nature, the wand, her pretty iridescent wings. I mean, it's a great pop, but I just don't need two of them. So, yeah, this will be in our sale as well. <laughs> You're getting a preview of our oh, live oh sale. Oh, uh, Are you kidding? Okay, this might... This if might. these two are exactly the same, I'm really going to be pissed. This is really not going well for us, Tim. We have four pops. Another blue fairy, which will also be in our sale. Right. Oh, God. You go again, then, because... I gotta oh. duplicate, you gotta duplicate. Well, you're the only one with an original item so far. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> um, sure. It's new at least. So we don't like Snow White. Um, to collect her. If we had, like, I mean, if we didn't have that, well, we don't have this. But, like, if it was a better princess, like, we would like it. But these are the Funko Pop pins. And this is Snow White. She'll be on our sale as well. But like, I like these because they're the same size as Funko's. And then these are the ones that you can get. We actually have Ursula, Ariel. Um, I don't think we have the Evil Queen. So, I mean, this is a cool item. <laughs> oh! I mean, they wouldn't know we have this. So this is an awesome item. Because this is your favorite princess. It is my favorite princess. We do have this. Like, I love this because I we have this as the Funko and as a pin. And the, the lounge, or the Funko pins come with stands. So they're pretty. I guess it's just, like, I should have realized that maybe we were going to get duplicate stuff. I was not prepared for this. That's on me. Well, I actually figured we would get a lot of duplicates because, like, we have so much stuff. And you cannot do like preferences with this. Um, so I mean that's a win. I would be ha I'm happy with that. Right. I feel like there's another pot pin. Oh. Oh. Also a great item for sale. <laughs> we do have this one. But this is awesome. I love this one a lot. We just watched that movie last weekend too and watch it with the crowd. Yeah, so it's actually cool that we got Ariel mm -hmm. and her slough. We didn't have this. I mean one of these boxes would have been cool, actually. I don't know if... I don't think you should do two, though. We'll... we'll... Obviously let you know as we go. This battle is basically like a stalemate. Like the same box. <laughs> okay, now this is where it's like, I'm a little sauce. Oh my god. It's the... I thought we were at least gonna get the fourth one. We were gonna get the Evil Queen, but we just got another Ursula. What? Who packed these Did boxes? Didn't even get Evil Queen! Okay, what I think might have happened is maybe they're like, I don't want to say lazy, but like lazy. So like maybe they have all of these like package and they just picked and didn't um. look. Which like, why would you not look if it's going to the same household and they ordered two? Like, okay. 
This might be our last Ferrara box unboxing. <laughs> but like, I mean, it's kind of cool that we have more stuff for our sale. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, oh! Oh, okay, that's at least a blind bag. Yeah. I like, we, we don't have any from the series either. Oh, we don't? No, this is the Finding Dory series. Oh! Oh, I want oh. the otter! I hope Gerald's a mystery. I want the otter. Oh, this is cool, actually. So this is Finding Dory. We love our figural bag keychains because we put them on our Christmas tree. So this is cool. So like the options are Bailey, Marlin, Dory, Hank, Destiny, Otter, Squirt, Pearl, Sheldon, Exclusive A, and Exclusive B, which is definitely Gerald. So th this is why, you know, I liked Ferrara Box, because like, we love our mystery things. So this is a win. I, yeah, I want Destiny or Squirt. I have. <gasps> I got otter. I got otter. <gasps> Cuddle party! That's Ooh. really cute. Oh, those little pawsies. <laughs> oh, yay. This is a win then. This is making up for today. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. <laughs> That's such a cute scene too in the movie. Oh, I have a blind bag. Same one. All right, since I I wanted the otter and that's what I got, which one did you want most? Gerald or Destiny? Do you have a Gerald? Not from this. Series. All right, so Gerald or Destiny? All right, come on, Gerald or Death? <gasps> oh yay! And this one has the bucket. The one we have does not have a bucket. Oh my god, this is really good luck. I got the one that I wanted and Tim got the one that he wanted most. Gerald! See, and look at Gerald's little face and his unibrow. He's so cute. Yay! I, yay, this is so cute! Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Okay, I think I see a mystery mini, which is... Uh, <laughs> so we did uh, open these on our channel in Vlogmas. We'll link that video above and below. These are the Frozen 2 Mystery Minis. And I think I know which character based on the weight of this. So this is cool. We love our Mystery Minis. So these are the options and the rarities. So we have all of these except for Anna and Elsa as children. And based on the way you think it's the rock guy? I think it's Olaf. Oh, because it's light? It's very light. Mm -hmm. Unless it's on the kids, which will be a win. But, yeah, that's a lot. Mm. So this will be on our sale, because we have like four of these, I think. But he's super cute. And I love that you could see like the permafrost on him. Ah! <laughs> I can't tell what this is. And I don't, I can't feel these. These are hard to feel. I mean, you can, but yeah, it takes the fun out of it. I guess it's different when it's like in a, I don't know, when it's a wish I guess. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't put wish molds in here yet. No. Oh, because they're not Funko products. And they're $15. That's like half the box price. Go, 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 go. True. I'm not going to do that. There's a tear shirt. Oh, Ben! Um, with crossing arms. Ben. Or Kristoff, this is a 1 in 12. You're Olaf with a 1 in 6. Do we have this? Yes. Oh. Yeah, you did say that. You said we had all of them except young Anna and Elsa. But here's Kristoff. He's in the woods. Lost in the woods. Alright, so I have one more item. And if you've seen our Ferrara boxes before, I always say they should not send this as an item because it's very, like, juvenile. Kiddish. So... It's like these. Is it what I think it is? These I weird know. cars. I'm not gonna open these, but these are Hot Wheels. So like, if this box was for a child, yes, oh. like they would love that. I'm sure. So those are the other ones. Oh, I have two items left. Oh, so do I. All right. Well, then I'll take out my. Oh, I got the mini at least. Mm -hmm. Here's Minnie and her pink Hot Wheel car with like a. I would have like the. 
see-through top. I didn't even play with kids as a hot as like a Hot Wheels as a kid. I feel like I was of the generation that should have played with Hot Wheels, but that was not me. I don't know. I never been into like cars, except the movie Cars. Now. <laughs> Bump. Yeah, so uh, this is a good value, actually. It I is. just don't know why they throw that in. Like, we could do without that, and it would still be great. Yeah. Give but me another just, mystery fiction. It just kind of, like... Cheapens it on Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. I do have... <gasps> oh, we don't have that! I don't know. I think that's cute. That could go on our Halloween pin board. I know, but we're not huge on this movie. But he is a villain. He is a villain. And he get, likes gambling, so you were already two for two for, in my book. <laughs> so this is cool. This is fig pin. And what's great about fig pins is it, is it comes with a stand. So you can leave it in or uh, I'm going to leave this in because we're not going to save this because it's so big. And like, I don't know, we like Oogie Boogie in that movie, but I just, I don't want to waste spots on our Halloween board because there's like limited spots. All right, mm -hmm. my, oh, oh, ooh, oh. Oh, see, see this, this is different. This one we'll keep. We don't have that one. You know what my so, the best gag is if there was a Gaston one? I don't think there is. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, he's really detailed. So, here is the fig pin of Jafar, King of the Underworld. But look at like the detail of the flame, his long fingers, and like the beautiful smoke. Like this is a really cool pin. And there he is again. But like you rarely see Hades in that level of detail. This is a really nice pin. This is like a fantasy quality pin. That's awesome. I re I'm happy about this. Yeah, one he's one of our favorite villains. So oh. I mean, overall, if yeah. you're looking at like only one yeah. box at a time. I would say this is still like a huge win. Yeah. I would suggest not getting two because you're gonna get a lot of the same items. Um, and I also, mean, I guess if you're if you are a collector like we are, like I should have like I think it's an amazing well, we always, box. We got yeah, we always like kind of with these think that we're gonna have some of the items. So I think we were just being too critical in the beginning, but it was just like. Yeah, Come on. like giving us the same Funkos when we live at the same house. I think definitely one would have been better. Although we did get like if we look at the boxes, like I would have liked your boxes way ways better. better because I think I, we did had less of the stuff. Yeah, like I mean, because you had Ariel and Ursula and, and Hades, the Hades one. We both had great blind bags. Mm -hmm. The 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 mystery minis was not their fault because that was a wash. So you know what? Overall, like, you remember when you were in school and you used to give things like check minus check or check plus? Um, <laughs> I give this a check. It's, it's, it did its job. I'm yeah. happy with it. It's not like blowing my mind or like it doesn't get that plus, like Disney plus, <laughs> but it gets a check. It's certainly not a check minus in terms of value. And the couple of things that we didn't have, like the keychains and the fake pen, like, that was enough that put yeah. this to a check. I mean, we'll definitely do this again, but yeah. like we said, we'll only order one box because we liked one out of the two Funkos. I mean, the Blue Fairy, I think they just have an oversight. They're just trying to get rid of it. So if you think about it, the two Funkos, even if you like say they're only $10, that's $20. Yeah. The two Funko Pop pins, also $20, so that's $40. The Mystery Minis, like $8, $48. The keychain, I would say, would be like five, so that's like 52. And then the fig pin, I would say, is 10, so that's $62. And we only paid 30, including shipping, so you, like, still a super, super good deal. Plus that, like, Hot Wheels, Wheels. you didn't even I get... mean, that's like a dollar store item, so I don't know why they put that in there. You really don't like the Hot Wheel, <laughs> do you? <laughs> that joke. <laughs> but you'll have to comment below what you thought of these boxes and also talk about obscure TV shows that other people have voiced over because I we love uh, John Goodman right we love classic and Mindy Colling that's why I think Monsters at Work felt like just a sitcom because it got so episodic because <laughs> those people do sitcoms Mindy Colling yeah but and it could have been a movie like why did they like I don't know comment down below what you guys thought of it um, 
Dog Days was way, way better. And I have hopes that Baymax will be better. But, oh, we could have got a Dog Days Funko in these. Oh, we're still missing so many of those, too. I feel sure. like those are, like, came around the same time as those Monsters at Work ones. But people actually wanted the Dog Days. So, I'm, cu I'm curious. Let me know if you guys order a box. Let us know in the comments down below what you get. Because, like, I mean, not every box is the same, so maybe they just kind of pulled from the top and then like the bottom ones were better or like newer you never know but yeah if you like this video give us a big thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy disney came pop culture and lifestyle related content be sure to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of our future videos and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for joining us today we can't wait to see you in our next video take care and be well bye